Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. I am relaxing and resting at home. Today is my day off. Yesterday I had to take the day off because I was sick. I'm still not feeling 100% better, but I thought I would spend time today to edit my camping video. I wanted to kind of film this intro first to let you guys know that the camping video was supposed to be an entire full length feature of my trip camping from beginning to end and due to various reasons I was not able to film very much at all. So I think I'm turning it more into a kind of camping for beginners video so you guys can check it out and get some tips on what to bring with you when you go camping. Then at the end I did put a few of the highlights of what I did get to film so, so next time I go I think I'm going to be a lot more prepared. I'm going to be able to show you guys like everything and just really bring you along on like my camping adventures. I had so much fun and I really wish that I could have shown you guys more. But anyway, I hope that you like it and I don't really know what's going on with my hair right now. It's really time to dye it. I just don't have the energy. If you guys want to come dye my hair for me, um, I'll give you free coffee and you can pet my kittens. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. You know what they say about camping, right? It's intense! It's camping day! If you guys couldn't already tell, I'm going camping and I'm excited about going camping and I'm happy about going camping and I am other positive adjectives about going camping. Of course, what better way to share that happiness than with y'all on my vlog here at Redhead Gets It Done. Um, I do not want any comments on the fact that this is really more of a strawberry blonde head gets it done, okay? so. Zippy lip. We'll, we'll work on that later. <laughs> anyway, I thought I would start out this video with giving you guys a list of the things that we bring camping with us. Um, I do want to let you know that neither one of us are camping professionals by any means. So this is simply what we have found works for us so far on now our, I think it's our third camping trip. It may be our fourth. Um, with anything, you know, with each trip we've learned what we need that we didn't bring before. We've learned what we've brought that we don't need. Um, we are bringing a few other things this trip that we may decide in the future that we don't need. So for those of you who have never been camping, it might be a good starter kit for you. I'm not gonna put things like clothes and like toothbrush and toothpaste, those are, Those are kind of, you know, the obvious travel necessities. Um, anything that you would need to bring with you on an overnight trip, I don't think I'm gonna include in the list. So um, for starters, make sure that you bring things that you would bring on any typical overnight trip, keeping the weather in mind. This is way too freaking cute, I can't even handle it. Keeping the weather in mind since it is going to be outdoors. Um, but otherwise, yeah, let's get started. So of course, first and foremost, you need a tent. This is an eight person family tent from Ozark Trail. We bought it from Walmart. I do not remember how much it cost, but I do remember thinking that it was pretty inexpensive for the size of the tent. And you may be thinking, okay, well, if it was just the two of you, why did you get an eight person tent? Well, that's what we thought at first before we it was explained to us <laughs> that not only is it the two of us, it's going to be an air mattress and all of the things we bring with us, plus the Beebs is over six feet tall. So if we wanna be able to stand up comfor comfortably in the tent, we need to have room to change and whatnot. So an eight person tent is definitely the way to go. You can, of course, get an even bigger one if you'd like. Obviously, the more people that you have staying in the tent, the bigger one you'll want. But this one works really well for us. Now, this is a fantastic investment for anybody, regardless of whether or not you're going camping. But this is an EverStart Jump Starter Charger Battery. And we got it for the car to jump start in case there's any emergencies. But it's also great because, as you can see, it has a USB plug. There are two electrical plugs in the back. There's also one of those kind of like car cigarette lighter um, ports for you to put in. And it's just fantastic to have if you want to charge your phone while you're camping, if you have other electronic devices that you do want to try to plug in. I feel like some people may think that this is cheating. <laughs> we didn't use it for anything crazy, but we did have it. Um, it was very helpful to charge our phones um, and to just have for you know any other kind of emergencies that we may need. So again, we bought this at Walmart. And uh, again, I'm sorry, I don't remember how much we spent, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't any more than about $60. These little guys were very inexpensive and very useful to have. We also got them from Walmart. They were maybe, I don't know, two or three dollars a piece. And they are battery operated lanterns. So there's three settings. One bright white LED light to use 
it has a flashlight, you know, just to see in the dark. And then a second setting, which is just a lower red light. And the third, which is kind of a red blinking light, which I assume may be for kind of emergencies when you don't want to make noise, but you want to get someone's attention. Luckily, we've never had to use that. But yeah, I highly recommend getting a few of these to hang around your tent when you need to see in the dark. These toiletry bottles were another cheap investment. We stayed at a campsite that had showers and toilets, so we were able to take normal showers. And so we grabbed these to put our shampoo, conditioner, body wash, lotion, that type of thing in. I actually recommend the small silicone bottle on the right versus the ones that are in the bags. They were fine, but the silicone bottle has a top that's spill proof, and it's also much easier to store versus the kind of larger hard plastic bottles that are in the bag. But either way, they're all good to have and great instead of having to travel with your giant shampoo bottles and whatnot. Now these two things are going to be some of the most important things that you're going to want to bring on your camping trip. First of all, sunscreen. Here I have Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunblock 30 SPF. And you see at the bottom there it says weightless clean feel. It's absolutely true. It was not sticky or oily. It smelled great. Um, I loved everything about this. I felt like I was still able to get a little bit of color without getting sunburn. I don't think I got any kind of sunburn at all and I used this um, fairly sparingly throughout the day. I was surprised at how little I needed to reapply considering that I was sweaty or jumping in the water, taking a shower. I only put it on a few times while I was there and I think it worked really well. I actually got this bottle at Marshall's. It was on sale for $4.99. I've heard that it's a little bit more expensive, but again, I don't think you have to use this as much as other sunscreens. So I think in the end, you're probably saving money. The other thing you see there is the off bug spray. It is extremely useful to have when you're camping, especially when you're in northern Florida during the summer because the mosquitoes are everywhere. Um, this was the same sort of thing. It felt sort of light and not quite oily and sticky. Uh, it smelled like a normal bug spray, so you're not going to smell fantastic, but um, I highly recommend both of these. And the off we had for a long time. I'm pretty sure I got it at Walmart too. Couldn't tell you the price, but I do know that it was fairly inexpensive. Next we have dishes. Here we have some cups, silverware, plates, and bowls. We got all of this because we were doing breakfast on Saturday morning for, including us, I think it was 14 people. So of course, if it's just going to be two of you or a small group of you, you won't need this much. And it also depends on what you're bringing food-wise as well. You may not need the bowls. You may not need the silverware. I mean, you may not really need any of this, but it's always good to have. And I think we spent maybe $12 altogether, maybe 15 on all four of those things. Water shoes are another thing that I did not think about when I was preparing for camping and I'm very glad that a friend of ours recommended them because for one, again, we went to a campsite where we were using public showers so you don't really want to walk around in those barefoot and we also went down into the river a lot where there are a lot of rocks and um, it's just much more comfortable to be wearing these water shoes when you're walking around in the water, just walking around the campsite in general. So the pair on the left are mine, the pair on the right are the Beebs. Um, the pair on the left I think we spent $9 on, the pair on the right was 4 or 5 I don't particularly like the ones that I bought. I think honestly that they're just a little too big for me. Um, so that was really more my error. But in general, Walmart, again, sells them for 4 or $5. You just have to be careful if you go in the winter time. They're a lot harder to find, but those things are really easy to find on places like Amazon. Here we have an air mattress, a comforter, and an electric pump. Uh, just ignore that extension cord. But we use the electric pump to blow up our air mattress, which we got for, I don't know, maybe 20 bucks at Walmart. It was very inexpensive. It works just fine for us. And then we just laid the comforter down over the mattress, and we had a few pillows, which I didn't show here, to uh, sleep with, and it was, it was comfortable. In fact, I got underneath the comforter at one point during the night. It was a little chilly uh, in northern Florida. But anyway, you can get an air mattress for as little as 15 to 20 bucks, or you can spend hundreds of dollars on one. We are probably going to invest in a bigger, sort of more plush one um, for the future. But having an air mattress is great, even if you're not a camper, because you never know if you're going to have guests over um, and you need somewhere for them to sleep, you know, and the couch isn't going to cut it. Air mattress is the way to go. So just don't forget that pump. We actually forgot to buy an electric pump the first time that we went. And thankfully we had somebody there with us who also had a pump for us to borrow. Otherwise, uh, blowing that up just with your own lungs is, <laughs> you'll never make it. 
bathing suits. Of course, this is pretty self-explanatory. I just wanted to show off how cute these are. Um, we went at a campsite where there are springs, so I knew I was gonna be getting in the water a lot. You may know when you're going camping that there's not gonna be any opportunities for you to swim. You might wanna wear a bathing suit if you're going into the public shower, if there are some, you know, there are other reasons why you might wanna bring a bathing suit, but that's why I brought mine. And I will say that these are the very first things that I packed because the last time I went camping, it was October and the weather was still nice enough to swim, but I forgot my bathing suit. I realized it 20 minutes away from the campsite. We swung into a Target and I thought, okay, they must be on sale because it's October. Nope, they were still about 50 or 60 bucks. So yeah, needless to say, I made sure not to forget my bathing suit this time. Having a pair of cheapy flip-flops is really important too. I didn't want to walk around the entire time in my water shoes, so having these flip-flops to throw on when I got in and out of the tent was perfect. I don't know, maybe they were 2 or $3 again at Walmart. And um, I think Walmart even has like 98 cent flip-flops. You can just buy a handful of them to throw on for you know situations like this where you don't really care if they're cute or not or if they get dirty or ripped because they were so inexpensive. So yeah. If you're going camping during the rainy season, games are very important to have. We had a big tarp up that we were able to sit under in case it rained. This trip it didn't rain, which we were grateful for, but in the past it has. So this is a great thing to have when you're kind of stuck in undercover and need something to occupy your time. These are two of some of my favorite games, but of course you can bring any other kind of board games or card games or just anything to um, keep yourselves entertained while you're waiting for the rain to stop. A cooler is another very important thing to have when you're going camping. This cooler is a 48 quart cooler by Island Breeze. We put our, most importantly, our beer in this cooler, but we also put the chicken, the waffles, and a few other things that we needed to keep cool. And we put everything in there and then got on the road and put ice in it on the way up. I think that if we had stayed any longer, we would have needed more ice because it had all melted by the end, though it still was keeping things cold, but by that time we didn't have much left in there. I personally don't care too much for this cooler because it does not have a spigot to drain the water out of or wheels, um, which we didn't really realize when we bought it, so we will be investing in a different cooler in the future, although this brand of cooler is great. It keeps things cold. It keeps things pretty airtight with the lid. It's a great size. It's very sturdy, but we just need something that's a little bigger and can drain out of the sides. So just don't forget to bring a cooler and to buy ice for your cooler when you're going camping. Just like the bathing suits, bringing towels is pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you're going to be swimming or taking a shower, you're going to want to have something to dry off with. So make sure to bring a couple of towels. Disinfecting wipes are another thing that are just good to have no matter what. We used it to wipe off some of our dishes and other things that we couldn't properly wash until we got home just to hold us over. I think we even used it to wipe out the tent a little bit. So these are great to buy. We chose the Lysol brand because we already had it in the house. Um, we've used Walmart brand, Target brand before, and they all work pretty much the same. Aluminum foil will be your best friend when it comes to cooking over the campfire or on a grill. We use these to wrap up pieces of chicken because we make chicken and waffles. And it's great because you just wrap up anything, whether you're making breakfast burritos, chicken, any kind of food that you need. You can just wrap it up in aluminum foil and then set it over the fire, whether it's a campfire or a grill or any other way of cooking your food. So it's very inexpensive and very important to have um, if you want to eat while you're camping. Speaking of cooking, one more thing that you're going to want to remember to buy, depending on how you're cooking, is either firewood, which you can buy at the office of the campsite, which I recommend so you don't have to keep the firewood in your car for too long. It tends to attract bugs and it just takes up more space than you need. And or you might want to invest in lighter fluid and coals. A lot of camping sites will have those kind of cheapy metal grills that you'll see at normal parks. So you'll need that if you want to cook your meals at the campsite. Lastly, I brought a duffel bag. This is a small American Eagle duffel bag that I actually got as a free gift because I ordered $50 worth of stuff or something like that. Um, this works just fine for me for a couple of days. If I had been going any longer, I probably would have brought a bigger bag. But of course, you need something to carry all of your things in those clothes, your towels, everything else. So whatever bag works best for you. Um, I would recommend getting one that is weatherproof, whether it be a thicker like nylon bag or just something that's going to kind of stand if it gets a little bit wet. You don't want to just bring some random cloth bag or even just plastic bags. Uh, those aren't, aren't so great for traveling. So make sure that you bring something that's going to be sturdy enough to carry your things and that will weather the weather. <laughs> 
They blew up a mattress, an air mattress, a queen air Tim, yes. what what do you need in order to not get bit by bugs? Cheap. Channel your energy. Channel your energy. <laughs> Here at the site, <laughs> never mind all of the voices in the background, those are my friends. But here is our tent, and I'll give you a tour of that in a little bit. This is very important to have, especially when um, you're out here in the woods because we've already gotten bitten up bad by bugs. So to have one of these torches here, it has the citronella in it, which is really, really great to help um, bug bites and whatnot. I mean, I don't know. I'm already bitted. Mm. So um, our tent right here is about an eight, is an eight person tent. This one here is a little bit bigger. Um, you can get all different, You can. it's for big people. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can get all different kinds of sizes. In fact, this one over here, I mean, that one's got, a, I don't even know how many people that fits, but it's huge. So you can get all, all different kinds of sizes. Um, but yeah, here we are. We, so we have here is the Got to make sure to get chairs. We forgot chairs. Um, we ended up getting ours at Ace Hardware for like $13.99. They're pretty nice. Um, make sure that you get your firewood. Normally when you go to uh, post up at a camping site, you will have a place where someone's already chosen to put a fire. So it makes it a lot easier um, to, to start the fire where it's already been started. Obviously you can really start it wherever you want. Um, but it's very important to make sure that you buy firewood when you get to your campsite. Um, yeah, that's it. We have our coolers, we have our food, we have our friends. It's going to be great. So uh, I guess I'll come back with more later. We just finished having breakfast, and I'm so sorry that I didn't film it. We got like, so overwhelmed with trying to um, like prep everything, and um, I had a lot of help from my beep. Thanks, beep. <laughs> so we had bacon, sausage, bagels, cream cheese, chicken and waffles, hard-boiled eggs. We brought oatmeal. Ended up not doing that. Um, but yeah, we had quite the spread, and I think everybody liked it. I think everybody got a little bit of everything. Um, it is definitely recommended to get one of these uh, propane grills here. <laughs> Highly recommended. Um, and you just get, hook up like a propane, propane tank to it, and then... Um, cook whatever you need to on it. We grab out our own pots and pans, but you can buy like camping ones. I don't know, it's perfect. So and we're just kind of cleaning everything up now and then we're gonna get in the water. <laughs>